A lack of vitamin D may precede the onset of Parkinson's. A lack of vitamin D, it says, is common among people with early Parkinson's disease. I got news for you. A lack of vitamin D and vitamin E, as you'll hear in a minute, are at low levels in almost all neurodegenerative, neuroinflammatory diseases. It says vitamin D insufficiency has been associated with a variety of clinical disorders and chronic diseases, including impaired balance, decreased muscular strength, mood and cognitive dysfunction, autoimmune disorders such as multiple sclerosis, and also diabetes and certain forms of cancer. Do you hear that? Listen to that. Yeah, I've got to repeat that again. Vitamin D insufficiency, meaning low levels of vitamin D, not even a deficiency, just low levels, have been associated with a variety of clinical disorders and chronic diseases, including impaired balance, which is neurological, decreased muscular strength, mood and cognitive dysfunction, autoimmune disorders like MS and lupus and, and uh, e even uh, you know, uh, other forms like even Alzheimer's, I consider to a degree to be autoimmune and diabetes, type 1 and type 2, and nine different, ten different forms of cancer. It says vitamin D insufficiency has been reported to be more common in patients with Parkinson's disease than in healthy controlled subjects. And they did a study, 157 people with early untreated Parkinson's disease, and they found that 70 percent, 69.4 percent to be exact, had a lack of vitamin D, 26% had vitamin D outright deficiency at the start of the study. So what would happen if this deficiency didn't exist or this insufficiency didn't exist? Would they have developed the disease to begin with? We don't know. But they looked at 157 people who had Parkinson's disease, untreated, new, new patients, 70% had a lack of vitamin D, and 26% had an outright deficiency of vitamin D. That's extremely high. Watch your vitamin D level. I saw somebody this week with a vitamin D level of 16. I think that's the lowest I've ever seen. 16. Severe deficiency and boy, vulnerable to a wide variety of illnesses that she already had. This continues by saying these findings are consistent with the possibility that long-term low levels of vitamin D is present before the clinical manifestations of Parkinson's disease and may play a role in the pathogenesis of Parkinson's disease. Now, we read a report to you recently that Parkinson's disease is due to what they're calling at Weill Cornell Medical Center here in New York a brain energy crisis. And of course, vitamin D is partially responsible for building energy in the brain. At Wild Cornell, they found out that mitochondrial function in people with Parkinson's disease was extremely low. There was a very big drought in what they call mitochondrial energy production. And they blame that mostly on the levels of coenzyme Q10. But Keep in mind, they could also have looked at levels of vitamin D, levels of magnesium, levels of a wide variety of other nutrients like ribose, like carnitine, like, like astaxanthin, like NAC, that are created, uh, that, that are deficient in helping create a, a deficiency of, uh, of mitochondrial energy.